Hi everybody, here is my 3D printer. It is an original Prusa i3 MK3S, um, which is still new, so a lot of the branding hasn't changed. Anyway, uh, this printer, it's fairly new to me. It arrived to me on February 15th. Today is March 8th. I assembled it myself, and it's been working just peachy keen. Uh, I've been able to have several successful prints. I've calibrated it many times, um, but recently, it was having an issue with uh, the, the heat bed thermistor cable. So I was troubleshooting that, took the heat bed off, um, played with the cables a little bit, <clears throat> discovered a kink, um, put the whole thing back together just to see if I could have the cable positioned in a way where the kink wouldn't be affecting the print. And everything was working a little bit um, better than it was. So I started recalibrating the printer again. And during that recalibration step, uh, through the calibration wizard, um, everything had been going fine. Uh, the fans tested good, the heat bed tested fine, the extruder head tested fine. Um, it measured the four corners with the paper, and then it was going to the Z-axis measuring, where you adjust the zigzag pattern and make sure that it's all dialed in fine. And when it came to turning this knob around, um, the screen suddenly uh, flashed and went blank. So it was, it almost felt like the act of turning this knob around caused too much charge or some sort of change within the connections that maybe affected the LCD screen. While that was happening, the, the screen flashed a little bit and something started in the middle of the screen. I'm not sure what it was, but it kind of expanded out like a puddle and it was taking the text with it. Um, so it, it almost looked like the screen was sort of burning itself up, which doesn't look good and kind of made me lose hope that this one will ever start again. But I went to the forums anyway, just to double check and everyone said to, you know, check your connections. So. Here we go at the back again, and I have checked the connections. I've unplugged these, plugged them back in several times, um, have verified that there were no kinks in these cables going through the aluminum assembly, like, um, sorry, it's a terrible view, uh, like that they weren't, you know, crushed sideways or something. All the way through of the, the assembly, I've picked it up and I've done the same thing to the connections on the bottom here. Um, I've taken them out, pushed them back in, <clears throat> but no dice. It's just not working with the LCD screen anymore. Everything else on the printer seems fine. Um, I just can't read anything. So <clears throat> I think that the problem is the LCD screen. I think I need a new one of these guys. Um, but maybe this is a common error. Maybe it's something with the cables. Maybe it's something with the board. I'm not entirely sure, but all signs to my troubleshooting point to the screen. Anyway, it's still a very new printer and it's been successful. Um, it's crazy that that happened.